Hey, it's Random Code here, and today we're hitting day 12 of Advent of Code. And this is definitely not the easiest day, but it was quite interesting. And the exercise is that we have some kind of input, where we have some kind of information about some lava, some springs, but hashtags and dots. Hashtag is that broken spring, and there needs to be a dot between each of the hashtags. So at least one dot between the hashtags. And this is then an example of how it could look. But the exercise is then that we're given the information about like the setup. For example, in this case, we have a one, a one, and a three group. But in the inputs we're then giving, we have some kind of question marks, meaning this could either be a hashtag or a dot. And we then need to find how many combinations would satisfy the condition of, in this case, having three groups. One with one, one with one, and one with three, where each of the groups are at least separated by one dot. And that is very much the exercise. And for the first one, I wanted to do something fancy, but it just ended up being a lot of code and a bit bloated. But just a quick walkthrough is that I have some kind of is record valid so far checker, where I can put any record, meaning the record of this example. And then I give also the rules. And I then clarify, is it at this current position valid or could it lead to a valid solution? I then, if it could lead to a valid solution, then continuously pass the two different options. So one where dot is inserted at the current position and one where hashtag is inserted. And then I recursively keep kind of like building all solutions down the line. And if any solution at some point does not work, it would stop building that solution. If it does, it keeps going. And then we're going to have some kind of tree where all the solutions will be present. And in the end, I then simply just check for the size of this list. So like here in the streams, what we're actually doing, so I read in my data. So we have the slash data file read in like in this case called the records and the rules we put them into a object i call record where we have a list of characters for the data and a list of integers the rules we then simply go through each of them line by line and then build up this list of possible solutions using my generator as we saw up here where i just recursively keep building them kind of like a, a tree with this quite large, I'm not gonna go through it in the video, you can look at the link or get up in the description, but let's check her to verify rather not a record is valid. And we end up having a list of valid records, and then simply just stream through them and filter once again, because I actually end up having a bit extra, it's a bit loaded, but general concept, create records, filter them, and then simply just get the size of the list. And sum all these, together as we're simply getting a possible solution to each line and then summing. And that is then the input for part one. Part two, we're then kind of unfolding, so it gets quite big. And as always, it's just a lot, a lot of data processing. So my first solution was not good enough. So I kind of redid it to have a different approach where now instead of kind of like returning the list of all the valid solutions, we just simply go through Again, kind of this tree of solutions, and we then just able to return zero if it's a non match and one if it's a match. And this then also allows us to do kind of like a caching mechanism where we can save all these different states and define which states lead to a match or which states do not lead to a match, allowing us to reuse and utilize this cache to actually make it a lot faster because I think we're doing like 50 trillion combinations in my case. So quite a lot. Once again, I'm not going to go through how all this recursive checker works, but once again, relatively simple, we load in some data from the loaded data, simply go through each of them. In this case, I unfold, meaning which some kind of like duplicate the data. So for each record, we would take the record plus a question mark, plus the record plus a question mark five times, and then simply like take the rules five times. And we then simply, once again, need to find all the valid combinations. Uh, it's quite large and it's more or less impossible if you're not 
utilize some kind of caching system. It's otherwise just going to be too large and not going to match or fit any, inside any kind of Java heap. Or you'd have some kind of problem where it probably would take forever. Or at least quite, quite a few hours. And so this kind of works. And just a showcase. Again, not too much interesting, but in my case, part two runs for just below one second, which is not a very fast time, but it's okay. And I think my part one runs for about 0 0.2 seconds. So, not the fastest. And actually, if I run part two, which is way more optimized for just one fold, which would be the same as part one, we should see that it should be yeah, quite a bit faster. But that is very much what I want to showcase today. As might be quite obvious, there's a lot of code and it's a bit bloated, but I hope I was able to kind of clearly describe this general concept of today's exercise. And if you want to check my solution, as always, check the GitHub link in the description. But otherwise, if you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe, and wish you all a wonderful day.